everyone, in this video we want to show you how we can insert multiple images in the Microsoft Excel with the order. So I want to insert these images in the Excel and then I want to have one, each of them be in one cell and order it in, in one column or in one row. So for example, uh, I, if I use the insert images here, and go to the pictures, I can select my images. If I go to my folder, I can select all of them and then press insert button. However, all these images will be placed in Excel with the actual size and all are over each other. So I don't want to be like this and I want to be all ordered in one column or one row with the predefined size. So for doing this, we developed an add-ins name as Extra Tools Add-ins, and you can download this in the diaco.co.uk. And if you see, if you activate these add-ins, you can see the image uh, bottom here. If you press on this bottom, you can go to your folder, which your images are all gathered here. You cannot see the images when you picking the folder you should note that the folder name have to place it here and you can check if all your images are correctly here and then after correctly select the folder you now need to press ok button and then you can see the form here at first it asks you where you want to sort insert your images so for example right now I selected A2 a2 is the good cells for a sort because the A1 can be my title and after that it asks you how is your filling order should be. So here it says fill in the columns it means that it will insert the image 1 in the A2 and the image 2 in the B2 and image 3 in the C3 so the columns will be filled. However I want to be in the rows so the image, the first image will be in the A2, the second image will be in the A3, A4 and so on. And then it asks you what should be your image size at the high and the width. So for example I want them to be at the high of 3 cm and the width of the 3 cm. Before I insert these images please note that some of these images are wider and some of them are longer so when you want to insert the images and if you want the size of your images be exactly the same you need to cut your images if you want to have all of them in the same size but right now because these are the random images they are not the same sizes so if I insert these images I will have all of them in one column and if you can see some of them are wider so if I want to these images be all in the cells I need to select one of them and then press on the control A button to select all the images and then right click on them and then go to the format object and then go to the properties and then select don't move or size with the cells after that you need to select one cell to unselect all the images and then select the column one and then resize it to the largest image here so right now all images are in just one cell this is how we can have the image these are our images in just one column ordered in one column so for example I right now I want to write all the image file name here in the second column how I can do that the first thing is I going here write the name of the image here so this can be hard for us to doing uh, to writing all the image name here we have another software in the diaco.co.uk website that you can download it. This software can get the name of the files and also can rename them. So for example, I want to get the name of the images 
that I inserted in my Excel and then press on the OK button I can see all the image name are currently here so I can copy paste it in my second row for example I want to rename these file names to the new file name to rename them to the product coding I can use a random code here but you can use it your own codes I just need to change it to the text and uh, so for example something like this and then I go it to done to have the order 0102 to the 07 so I want to rename these to this names so after I press on the rename button I have to select that folder again and then press on the OK button and if I and if I go to my image folder I can see all these images are rename it to these new names so now I can copy paste them here and then I can say the product codes so in this way I can have all my products images in the in the Excel also if you note that here if I resize my row 1 you can see the image will not go down or up so what I, how I can change that I just need to select one of these images control A to select all my images and then right click on it and go to the properties say that move but don't size with the soles so after that I can move my rows here so in this way I have my I have all my images and their coding names their codes thanks for watching and goodbye in order to watch more training videos please subscribe to our youtube channel diaco otd and if you want to see our products please visit our website diaco.co.uk